And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm Derek Ray, ready here on the commentary position. And alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfielder, Stuart Robson. And tonight we've got the semi-final of the Champions League coming up for you. Stuart, this ought to be a fantastic watch. Well, Derek, it's said that semi-finals are the best games to win and the worst to lose. And while the hosts are clear favourites, I still think this will be a great cup tie. Full of individual battles, passion and a lot of skill. And underway now in this Champions League semi-final first leg. Ljubicic in position and a goal! The opening statement of this semi-final. How important could that prove to be? Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. One nil then. Nicolas Hofner. Leanhardt. <laughs> Fluency of movement. Ljubicic, Funtas, now a decent position, there it is, two to the good now, and that gives them a buffer. Let's take another look, and what a build-up to the goal this is. The one and two touch pass is so crisp and accurate, but there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well though, lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. Well, a second goal for them here. Salai Leanhardt Nicolas Hofner and a bad touch like that usually will mean giving the ball away Ljubicic counter attacking very much an option Read it magnificently and intercepted. And the attack looks promising. But they dealt with the threat first. Taxiakis Funtas. Running with the ball confidently. Top class defending. Be a bit annoyed to have lost the ball. And a throw in forthcoming. Gunter.
Jong. And Grifo in possession. Perfect example of how to put in a tackle. And a corner will be next. Well, they haven't seen too many chances, but the crowd sensing this could be a turning point. They need a goal here. And he's fired over the corner. Well, it has come to nothing. On and on he goes. Has someone to play it to. And it crossed the byline. A goal kick as a result. <laughs> Ljubicic. Graubatz. Funtas. Nicolas Hofner there to take it away and scope for them to produce something exciting and space available inside must score and it goes a three goal cushion and you truly sense it's a matter of how many Well, let's take another look. It's a really well-timed pass to break the offside line. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Well, you've got to say, an incredible first-half performance. That scoreline tells you all you need to know. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, what a first half he had. I thought he was outstanding. He calls the defenders all sorts of... And underway now in this... Sports. It's in the game.
Hi everyone, it is an absolutely splendid day for football and we're looking forward to the game. My name is Derek Ray and ready with his tactics board to provide all the analysis is Stuart Robson. And every reason to believe we're in for an entertaining match here. It's Germany against the United States. Well Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Now showing excellent judgment to intercept. Has the strength to hang on to it. Perfect tackle. And you've got to say, they're good value for the lead. Well, just watch this again. A change of pace, a change of direction and a decent finish. That's a very good goal. And once again, Germany get the ball rolling. How will they react to this setback? Jennifer Marojan. Now with Debritz. Well, she's on her game. Patient build-up at the moment. Leuports. And players waiting in the centre. This looks promising. On to Hoot. Giving the ball away. And they do like to press whenever they can. Turban Heath. Here's Mewis. And she's in a decent position. Oh, surely. In the right place to cut out the pass. Schuler. Svenja Hut. Leuports. Magul. Well, no luck keeping possession. Struggling to keep the ball. Melanie Leupertz. Lea Schuler. Moving the ball nicely. Trying to carve out the equaliser. Well, the away side haven't bossed the possession, as you can see. But when they have had it, they've looked so dangerous. Particularly when they press high up the field, win the ball back in those areas, and then counter-attack quickly. Megan Rapino. Here's Mewis. Surely. Still a chance. Able defending, but can they keep it out? A very timely interception. Leuports. Now with Hoot. Magul. Germany in a position of menace but nothing comes of it good defending it was Rapino here's Mewis Alex Morgan and a timely intervention and with that the first half draws to a close
And welcome to the Estadio Azteca, a stadium with a capacity of more than 87,000, the largest venue in Mexico. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and my partner, ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk, is Stuart Robson. And we're fully convinced this game will live up to its billing. It's Mexico versus the Netherlands. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Jaramillo on the ball. Stephanie Mayor. Antonio. Origel. Antonio. And it's with Rodriguez. Jaramillo. Jocelyn Origel. Antonio. Origel and now Rodriguez Antonio Stephanie Mayor Antonio Jaramillo on the ball and here's Rodriguez Stephanie Mayor. There to take it away. Viviana Miedema. Miedema. Can they find a gap in the defence? Daniele van der Donk. Chance here. And a goal! Now they have their opener. And now they can celebrate. Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. The opening goal of the game then. Jaramillo on the ball. And back with Gonzalez. And take it away. Well, the Dutch haven't been able to dominate possession, as those stats tell us. But their counter-attacking has been really good, particularly in the wide areas. It's been an excellent performance oh, for them so far. Oh, they might score here, Stuart. And another one! Two quick goals! Will it turn out to be the two-punch knockout? Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. So, 2-0 now. Caramillo. Jocelyn Origel. On the ball, Gonzalez. Caramillo. And Gonzalez has it. Possession given away, unfortunately. Roared. Now with Grunen. Sherida Spitzen. At times they make passing look easy. And they need to get tighter here. 
and a timely intervention a chance then for the respective managers to address their charges it is half time here Sports. It's in the game. Well, after plenty of pre-match anticipation, the wait is finally over. My name is Derek Ray. I'm joined by Stuart Robson in the commentary box, and we're just seconds away from kickoff in what promises to be a spectacular final. We have every reason to believe this will be enthralling, Stuart. Well, it's been a long journey for both these teams, Derek. It's not been easy, but these players are 90 minutes away from making history for themselves. No doubt both managers will have set out their game plans and made sure every player knows exactly what their roles are. What a game we have in store for us. Moving the ball effectively. He made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. Starzinski. Did well to win the ball back. Daniel. And he read it superbly. Could take the lead. Well, I think you could call that an escape. It looked a certain goal. Starzinski. Starzinski.
Starzynski failed to keep hold of it. Moving it forward. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Danger averted for now, but they have a corner to defend. Corner kick played in. Well, no end product. And he takes it away. Starzynski. Oh, nice ball. Crossing opportunity. Patient enough build up. Can they carve out a chance? Could be. In it goes. The goal for 1 0. And that changes the dynamic. Well, here's the replay, and you just have to admire the patience of the passing as they look for that defence-splitting ball. And the finish is really good. Low and hard beyond the goalkeeper. It's a lovely goal all round. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. And thwarted there, following the cross. Just not looking confident in possession. It might be on for them. And we will have just one additional minute. Daniel. The first half here comes to an end.